important part of it and integration was an important part of it right the session difficulty was very difficult especially in physics and math kind of topics that people really don't expect that much it was given a little bit of amount of weightage one of the best modes of preparation for a second attempt of bitsat is by actually focusing on your first attempt mistakes and learn from them and improve from them if you closely analyze you'll understand that there are eight sessions which happened for bitsat in first attempt but you only wrote one of them so you need to learn from the other sessions and understand what was the important topics there what is the pattern over there so that you can go and ace your second attempt that's what we'll be doing today if you knew here my name is hari i'm a recent graduate from bits planning i got 314 bits out for 2019 let's get started the video we'll be discussing the sessions 26 may to 30th may both the shifts what was the questions like was a pattern like and what you should focus on yeah so in 26 may you will understand the questions of mathematics was kind of general many questions came from inverse trigonometry that was the general feedback that we got close to four five questions from inverse trigonometry that was the most important topic and in physics the questions were more concept heavy there were close to five questions from electrostatics one question from current electricity and a couple of questions from heat and thermodynamics which were featured and there were a mix of questions from multiple places but there was a weightage significant weightage given to these topics and there was multiple concepts mixed together and our questions were asked from there and in chemistry the questions were of moderate difficulty you need to understand the ncert textbook in and out you will be asked multiple orders multiple boiling points hydration enthalpy melting point solubility and you'll be asked to name the trends of each one of them so if you don't understand the concepts behind it you will end up losing out and one of the highlights in all the bitsat sessions was the iupac nomenclature there were a lot of cyclic compounds which were given aromatic compounds which were given you need to be able to name them and you need to be able to tell what is their actual iupac name and it's kind of confusing if you don't know the basics so go through ncert textbook again read them learn from them and get better at it english and logical reasoning questions were kind of easy and you need to focus on grammar uh, and puzzles and in short you need to learn a lot from questions and solve papers the second section of 26 may was kind of different from the remaining the paper was close to moderate to tough again in chemistry there was emphasis given to iupac nomenclature ez configuration and other types of configuration in organic chemistry and there was almost an equal weightage in organic and physical as well but the distinction was that a lot of weird questions came from iupac nomenclature mathematics was kind of different because there were close to four to five questions from differential equations of a homogeneous bernoulli type questions and there were close to four questions from statistics so nine questions from trigonometry inverse trigonometry and solution of triangles three questions of linear programming problems and straight lines there were close to three to four questions and circles there were close to two questions english was easy to moderate just like the remaining uh, session but it was yeah it's kind of different let's come to the 27th may paper mathematics again the weird part is that linear programming problems got a higher amount of weightage and differential equations got a higher amount of weightage and vectors in 3d in general have a significant amount of weightage and in physics is kind of different because semiconductors which is a kind of topics that people really don't expect that much it was given a little bit of amount of weightage questions came from capacitors graphs and there were questions related to kinematics as well that people were not expecting the questions related to motion in a straight line motion in a plane motion in two dimensions and graphs related to acceleration time acceleration with respect to distance other things like that and close to two three questions came from conservation momentum and simple harmonic motion as well chemistry is a different kind of a ball game because coordination compounds was a majority player in chemistry and there were kind of questions which came from r as z configurations as well and english and logical reasoning there were hard questions in this paper people said that the questions were kind of hard but then you need to keep preparing through mock tests for solving these kind of questions Before we move forward I want to talk about Bitsat Busted. Bitsat Busted is a mock test series and a community designed by the Bitsians who have aced Bitsat in the previous years. You will find close to 20 mock tests designed at the level of Bitsat to give you the best Bitsat experience. From the papers you'll understand that there's no similarity or commonality. Any type of questions can come from anywhere of any difficulty. So you need to be prepared for it and that's why we have designed Bitsat Busted. It's not just the questions or the mock papers of the community. We have live lectures as well, which will definitely help you out for your Bitsat examination. The lectures will be taken by Bitsians who have done really well in the previous years, 
who will be able to guide you and mentor you on how to go about studying how to go about preparation how to go and tackle the final examination which will happen the last week of june it's not easy it's not for everybody but if you think that you can ace with sat alone you are wrong you need a group you need a team and we are here to help you guys out the best mock test available made by toppers from bits pilani here for you let's talk about the highlights of question section 2 in may 27th the overall difficulty was moderate to tough with mathematics was the primary difficult topic and there were linear programming programs which had close to 3 to 4 questions differential equation close to 3 questions corner geometry of planes lines and trigonometry again close to like 10 15 questions combining the entire uh, topics and uh, generally maths is tougher in bitsat but this time maths was they stretched the level of maths there were unexpected topics which got a higher amount of weightage because of that students stumbled a lot and even in physics there were different kind of problems with dipoles and charges and they were weird and random and people were not really predicting it or expecting it and whenever these kind of problems come up make sure to just skip and run away from it focus on whatever you know and what you know you can solve don't think that you'll be able to do all the questions in 3 hours because not everybody can do it and in english and logical reasoning the deduction puzzles were tougher and people who already attempted several of the mocks including bitsat busted they were saying that this was kind of an unexpected turn of events but uh, yeah we have made sure to set mocks 10 to 20 on the higher level of bitsat so if you are someone targeting higher level of questions then do check out bitsat busted definitely it'll help you out a lot Let's come down to the section of twenty eighth May. Twenty eighth May was the most tough section that people were ever talking about. The entire section, the session difficulty was very difficult, especially in physics and math. Maths was a very tough question, heavily relying on con- calculus. Two questions came from area, two three questions from differential equations, two three questions from definite integration, and other places. There were close to three four questions from conics, vectors, three D geometry. There were mixed type of questions which involved unity, the cube root of unity, probability, and you need to have both accuracy and time management to do well in these type of exams. And I can assure you that time management is an issue for most people. And if you're not solving papers on a day-to-day basis at this moment, trust me, time management can really kill you. So make sure to solve papers. and keep up with the trends like whenever you learn from other papers learn to try to see if you can get some memory based papers try to see to talk to some people and improve your mind to get prepared for these type of papers because there's a ch- there are chances that you will also end up writing these kind of exams and if you're not ready to solve the papers at that point of time then you will lose electrostatics and electric field vectors vectors are probably prominently featured in physics mechanics had lesser weightage than what we had hoped for when we saw previous year papers and when we talked to several other bitsians from the previous years right mechanics was there but was not of a very high weightage as far as chemistry was concerned there were a lot of definition based questions in organic and organic questions and there were fewer questions of physical chemistry numericals a lot of questions were primarily based out of inorganic and organic chemistry As far as 29th May session was concerned, the overall paper was moderate to tough. It was not as tough as 28th May, but it was still kind of tough. There were a kind of questions which had multiple concepts integrated together. For example, this type of question where you know there is a combination of hyperbola and parabola, and then you need to understand the number of intersections between the two things. So you need to understand both the concepts of both hyperbola and parabola, and inter- integration was prominent. and there were not a lot of questions which came from vectors and 3d so from this important thing you understand that the, there's no uniformity among the different sessions in the papers some papers vectors and 3d have a lot of weightage some papers there's no weightage some papers some other topic has a lot of weightage right so instead of vectors and 3d there were a lot of linear programming questions which came in and then trigonometry was an important part of it and integration was an important part of it right it was kind of jumbled up kind of mixed so you can't really predict the paper based on your previous shifts as well so physics of uh, there's a mix of questions which were formula based and more conceptual there were questions which came from circuits and capacitors there were questions which involved a slightly higher amount of depth of concepts and was slightly more complex and typical mocks 
and typical mocks are not built by bitsat toppers that's where bitsat busted comes in so do check out bitsat busted it'll really help you out in your bitsat preparation and as far as chemistry is concerned it was kind of a balanced paper there were emphasis given to organic coordination compounds and ncrd first questions as well let's come around to the last and final day of bitsat which is on may 30th 2025 of the first shift so again this was not a very different paper as compared to may 9th they were close to moderate to tough questions in maths and physics similar intensities as previous days there were important questions in probability vectors in 3d matrices calculus and physics there were slightly moderate to hard questions comprising some of the important chapters which spanned across the previous sessions like conductivity electrostatics semiconductors mixed concepts and in chemistry there was chemical bonding thermodynamics biomolecules and other ncrt based topics and uh, from the entire may 30th you get a feel of the important topics which were asked across the papers and then they just took a lot of those important things and put it on may 30th and from here what we understand is that there's no this is very difficult to like predict the pattern of the next paper based on the previous year papers previous session papers at least right so don't think that if i take a later session and i'll understand a lot of the previous year paper previous papers and then i'll be able to get a better understanding because they've shuffled it a lot and even they've gotten a lot smarter so keep your preparation up to the level top and if i have one final advice it's probably this start with english and lr in general because from the previous trends we understood that english and lr generally is on the easier side there were tougher papers in some sections some puzzles were tough some of the questions are tricky and tough so whenever those type of questions comes just skip and move ahead but in general it makes sense to start with english and lr and then try to see the paper as many times as possible like try to go through the paper like three four times in those three hour slot right so that you get to pick all the easy questions solve them first and then focus on working on on the important questions and focus on ncrt for chemistry and learn deeply about the inorganic and organic sections don't just breeze through the paper just focus on each of the important concepts and learn from it and strategize maths and physics tackle important numericals first the easier ones the slightly easier to medium questions right and most important thing for bitsat is time management if you've cracked time management then everything else will follow don't worry too much about anything else if you solve for time management and if you solve for solving easy and medium questions that's it on my side guys i hope you like this video i hope you learned something about this video it was some of the important crux material of the entire sessions and the entire papers it's not a very elaborate breakdown of the paper but from this you will get an understanding of what to focus on and how the questions are coming up in bitsat i hope you guys like this video do check out bitsat busted it will be a game changer for you guys trust me bye bye